Good evening and thank you for joining us. If we have learned anything from the first wave of the pandemic, it's that COVID-19 can be contained through aggressive measures. In Ontario, officials are so worried about the recent rise in cases, the government has extended restrictions on private gatherings to the entire province. Premier Doug Ford is essentially popping the balloon on big bashes. Indoor gatherings are now limited to 10 people. Outdoor gatherings are limited to 25 people. All gatherings still require physical distancing. The province is in the process of imposing new fines for people who throw large parties. The organizers face fines of at least $10,000, and guests can be fined $750 each. Today, Ontario recorded another 407 new cases. Quebec has the biggest spike with 427 new cases. Manitoba added 18. Saskatchewan reported 11. Atlantic Canada, BC, Alberta and the territories do not report on weekends. Two federal leaders, Erin O'Toole and Yves-Francois Blanchet, have both tested positive for COVID-19. Neither will now be able to attend next week's throne speech. Their positive tests have some questioning whether there should be more changes to the way politicians do business during the pandemic. Michael Couture has our top story tonight. This meeting with Quebec Premier François Legault was the last time Conservative leader Erin O'Toole was seen in public. The federal leader has since tested positive for COVID-19. And while Legault's results came back negative, he is self-isolating as a precaution. Now, Legault was in Ottawa Friday meeting with three other premiers who all say they're fine. I wouldn't hesitate to get tested, but I'm feeling good. I, I'd rather the people that have the symptoms uh, get tested. If that's one extra person getting tested and I'm not there, that, that's great. Officials in the offices of Manitoba Premier Brian Pallister and Alberta Premier Jason Kenney say both are monitoring for symptoms, but they're not self-isolating because they follow distancing and masking guidelines in Ottawa, as seen in these photos posted on Twitter. Still, the fact that O'Toole and Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchet tested positive underscores the importance of doing politics differently in a pandemic. We really have to do that with safety in mind, and that uh, boils down to fewer people in the room, spreading out, wearing masks, and doing as much virtual as possible. That sentiment echoed by Intergovernmental Affairs Minister Dominique Leblanc. We think it's unrealistic and unsafe to expect everybody to, to be sitting in the chamber but we want to ensure that it can be safely and securely done remotely. Now that's just one part of the fight against COVID-19. Testing is another, but lineups at testing centers continue to cause frustration. The line hasn't moved for like five, 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna go somewhere else instead. Premier Ford addressed those concerns directly, calling on Health Canada to approve a simpler saliva test for COVID-19, even though one of his lead medical officers doesn't seem convinced. You go in, you get the strips, you, you spit on the strip, and then you can see instantly, as, as it was described to me, it's almost like a pregnancy test. They don't need a health professional to administer them, um, but you do lose a bit of sensitivity. So um, there's sort of pros and cons. Antigen tests like the one Ford is referring to haven't proven as effective as nasal swabs. So for now, patience also remains a big part of fighting this pandemic. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.